Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City where we want to help you build a Lego city regardless of the space you have. Welcome to part 8 of building a mock from start to finish. This is my cathedral project and in the previous video I show how I added this extension as a permanent addition to the main cathedral and now it's a pretty big mock and it sits on two standard 32 by 32 stud base plates which means it measures 64 by 32 studs. It is pretty solid because now everything is locked together and what I did offline was to improve the exterior texture and look of this back tower. What I did was to replicate these one brick columns as you can see and I also changed the windows so that they're vertical originally they're all in one row and I think everything matches much better. I uh, also neatened up or redesigned this part over here which comes from the original design of the Great Hall but it had to be shrunk down just due to the size but I think it works. I also changed out some of these one by one bricks to round bricks to give a bit more of a visual texture. But overall I think this really fits the entire build and looks really organic and it looks like one complete building you do not get the sense that this is an annex or an addition that's been forced upon this build. I also made another small addition and that is to include a bell in this part of the clock tower so now it's a bell and clock tower. This design came from my original small church and I also used it in my recent fire station mock but it fits really well over here as you can see and so this will be where you ring the bell and where you kind of adjust or maintain the grand clock. Well in this video what I'm going to do is to work on some of the exterior details of the church and I'm also going to work on the interior details. Specifically I would like to populate the inside of this main cathedral right over here. I also want to add in detail to this back tower over here. So there's lots to do. Let's start off with the front. This is the old church mock which I created some time back. If you'd like to check out that video, you can do so by following the link in the card above or the description below. I did remove the bell because I used it for the new cathedral. I'm not sure if I'm going to tear this mock down because I personally do like it, although the white is a bit stark. But I'll definitely be using this as kind of a guide when I decorate the outside of this cathedral. Obviously, they're two different. This is supposed to be a small chapel in a small town, and this obviously is a much grander cathedral. But the one thing I like to add is a cross or crucifix on the top. And I should mention, while I am building this as a cathedral, I'm really just using it as a symbolic kind of religious site in my Lego city. This is really not to advocate for or against any one particular religion. It is just symbolic. Of course, I am taking certain iconic symbols and things that you might associate with a Christian or Catholic church. However, that is not my intention. This is really just make-believe for my world of Lego. But let's start off with that. This is where I intend to put a small cross. I had thought of using one in grey uh, and building it just like this one. However, it does not fit the design of this overall what I consider a more classical or gothic style cathedral. So I'm going to put together a different kind of crucifix and I'm going to use some round bricks. So let's tilt this down so that we can begin work and we can have a look at what we're building. So I'll be using some of these round bricks and maybe some cone parts. I will need one of these. That's a modified brick with studs on the front and the back. And uh, let's see what I can put together. So this is what I've come up with. Kind of a very gothic, almost fierce looking crucifix. I think it might be a nice symbol and I do want to put it up here. Uh, let's see how it looks if I just pop it on because this is the original build of the clock tower which is the Hogwarts clock tower. Incidentally this cathedral mock is created using three sets the Hogwarts clock tower as well as two great hall sets. That's pretty good but I, I don't really like this light tan brick so let's change it to this dark grey brick. I think that works better and I think that's really tall that that feels strong so I'm going to use that as the symbol. The next thing I want to work with is this part over here. 
Now, obviously, in the original set, this is a clock tower, so there are many elements of clocks over here. I've taken out one of the original clocks. I'm taking this out as well, and I want to create some kind of a new symbol for the front. And I'm taking my cue from this. This is the Harry Potter Gryffindors, uh, I guess the bunting or the banner, and there's a lion, there's a crown. So I thought just to fit that, I would put a crown over here. So let me put some elements together. I will be removing this over here, and uh, let's put together that crown and somehow try to insert it in front over here. So this is what I have designed. Basically, it's very simple. I've used some gold bricks, some regular bricks, but I do have a one by two modified brick here with studs in front, I'm putting a jumper plate on so that I can center this kind of a crown piece on a clip. So it's a modified tower with a clip and that goes there. Now, I originally thought of something much more elaborate. I was thinking of some kind of coat in arms or crest with swords and stuff. But there's already a lot going on with this clock tower. Let's see if I can just raise this up by a bit. There is the clock itself, of course, which is pretty iconic. We also have this stained glass, which is kind of a mermaid. So if I had something too complicated over here, and also just in terms of the facade of the building, which is quite detailed, I think it'll just be too cluttered and too convoluted. So I think this is just nice and simple. It is a bit of a something symbolic. At the same time, it doesn't pull too much focus away from the clock or the stained glass. Well, let's see what else I need to do. I think I do need to add some door handles over here and I have prepared something very simply using modified tiles with clips and these bar elements in gold. And these are supposed to be door handles just so that it's easier to open up uh, the doors. Even right now, I can't really open the door. So let me see if I can pop this on. And, yep, and I can grab that. So that's a door handle there. I think it's uh, simple, but it fits the color scheme with this dark gray and the gold and the gold is kind of an accent and it matches that crown piece that I just added on. So that's that. Pretty simple. So let me now open up the rest of the build over here because the way I designed the clock tower was to be modular in nature. So I can actually pop this off just like that and that comes off and these panels come off as well. And I'm just going to pull that out. And if you didn't watch the previous video, or I would say it's the previous two videos, you might have missed the pipe organ which I built as well as some of the interior detail on that floor. So check out that link specifically in the description. Originally, I had a table which matches the other table. So I'm going to pop this side off as well just to let light in. Let's take that out without destroying anything. Yeah. And I originally put in a table as you can see over here i did do some changes offline and that was i took out the round bricks that act as the table legs and i put in a round brick instead so it's much more stable and just doesn't come off so easily now for the other side over here i wanted to add something a bit more interesting i already had a table with some bottles i hadn't really thought about it but i must say one subscriber gave me an idea Michael Gleff mentioned that a church in a village that he grew up in had displays of suits of armor and weapons. I thought that would be really apt, especially for the backstory that I created for this cathedral. So I've put together this knight minifig or suit of armor minifig from the parts in my minifig bin. And I've also got a little platform for him to stand. This is actually the table, like from the other side, came from the original set, but I did put round plates over here and also put some jumper plates and towels just to create a little platform for him to stand so he would be centered. So this guy would come over here and I would fit him just there. And of course, I can replace the round wall if I need and uh, it will not be in the way. So I'm really happy with that. Another subscriber, Juan Anzaldo, he mentioned that he liked the pipe organ, but he suggested having some kind of railings over here. Uh, now, there's not much space for railings, but I think I can symbolically put something so that you feel that there's an illusion of safety. So I created a few of these barricades and they're just made from telescope parts with round bricks. So I'm just going to put them in place and then we'll have a look how that looks like.
and then you have the different barriers in place or just railing posts i didn't want to put chains or tiles above although i did try but i felt it just looked too cluttered and blocked the pipe organ which is the central focus so it's really there symbolically and just gives enough of a sense of a safety railing Okay, right now I'd like to try something and this is in response to Adora Builds. She mentioned that she liked everything except this row of windows over here. Personally, I didn't have a problem with it, but I guess I can understand why she feels it looks different from the rest of the builds because the rest all have vertical windows. This just seems to be one roll over here. I didn't want to make it completely brick because I wanted some light to come in. I didn't want it to be just too blocky. But since she brought it up, I thought I'll try something. And I wanted to put in some stained glass. In fact, that was my original idea for the build because in my old church, I had a technique for stained glass, which I came up with, but that won't work for this particular build. And just the way this cathedral is laid out, I don't, or I can't rather, put the stained glass at the back of the hall or if you expect, and that'll be this side over here. And that's why I went with the banners here. So I think this would be an appropriate place to put stained glass. Now the challenge is how to put in the glass and how do you come up with a technique for stained glass? So one easy way of course is to take translucent bricks or plates and try, try to put them in, transcolored that is, and try to create some kind of a pattern and put them in. But the problem is I find that if you just do a square block, it can look exactly what it looks like, just bricks of a square block. It doesn't really make sense. It's different from a patterned tile sticker like this or printed tile in this case, which really looks like stained glass. However, I think I've come up with a solution and this might be a technique that you can use for a cathedral or a church as well. I have pre-made my stained glass windows because it took a lot of time just to come up with a design. And I have two of them, but this is one of them. It looks like basically a bunch of uh, trans-colored bricks and plates, but actually very subtly you can see the cross in green. So you may or may not see it, but also just the shape of how I've done it. Now I notice there are tiles over here and this is a brick. So you might be wondering how am I going to incorporate this in. So stay tuned, I'm going to try to put this in and I'll show you exactly what my design idea was. So this is what I have. You can see I've integrated these two stained glass build-ups over here. But the thing is, what about this top? Well, that's where these ornate one by one bricks come. And this comes with the original set, that is the clock tower as well as the great hall. And I realized that if I put them just like that, they almost look like the top of a window. And it just looks like the ornate pattern of the window curving in so it will looks really well it just doesn't look like a block of bricks it now almost looks like an ornate window so i'm really happy with this technique and what i subsequently need to do is to simply take this top over here and put it on top and ta-da we have the stained glass window and later when we put back the rest of the build, we'll see how it looks like. But personally, I think it does add a lot of texture. I agree with Adora Builds. It's much better than this single row of grilled windows. It looks like there's a design and there's also a bit of a mirroring of this stained glass over here. So overall, I think this does add to the build and works very well. So now that I've got that out of the way, it's time to go for the interesting part, also very challenging, and that is this main hall over here. I originally created one for my church, but that was really simple because that's a simple church. This has to look grand. And uh, the first thing I want to do is add the pews, which is basically the chairs. Now, I didn't have any fancy chairs. I did have a design, but there just wasn't space to do, do anything too fancy. So I created these chairs here, or these benches or pews or whatever you like to call them. Basically, it's a two-seater and it looks like wood. And I have enough to place here. I'm not going to press them down because what I need to do is figure out the spacing and how I can do the tiling. Now, some of them have plates on them and that's so that I can seat minifigs on. And there we have enough of four rows of two. You know what? just for 
making it just brighter so that's easier for you two guys to see the video let me just take this out and let me take off this roof part so that we can really see the inside easily so these are where the pews will be i'll need to have some kind of a platform so i created a very simple platform out of a gray plate and brown plate and i think i can i won't put it in i won't press it down just yet again but now you can get the layout of what i'm trying to achieve over here so i think this at least this basic layout is something that you're probably familiar with even if you've never been to a cathedral you had seen uh, pictures or watched movies or television and it kind of looks like that so let's start off with this platform over here and the first thing i wanted to do was to create the pulpit or the podium i had one in my old church and I tried to put it here and it just looked out of place for this cathedral because this is so grand and that looks so shabby. So I've come up with a design for a pulpit. Uh, although correctly, you might not call it a pulpit because the pulpit's not always on stage. It seems to be off on one side based on photographs that I've seen. But I've also seen some fancy ones really at the back of the stage. So if I'm using the term incorrectly, I apologize. But this is the pulpit or the podium where the religious leader would uh, speak from. So I've built this kind of a raised platform that's just to raise him even higher because many of the pulpits are very high up. And I've got various parts that I'm going to use to create the uh, pulpit. So I'm going to use these gold studs. That's to create, a, I guess, quite a nice... Uh, gold trim look and then we just have this so that's where you can imagine he puts his notes or the bible from and he can read from there but i need to make it a bit more grand so i took these gold trims parts and put them on clips and these will go on here like that and almost instantly we create the impression that this looks a bit more ostentatious uh, than before so very grand so you can imagine that goes over there like that and then we need the altar on the stage and i'm using this brick with a sticker and this came from i believe the clock tower set so i think it's really apt and i'm going to place that somewhere here Normally, based on photos I've seen, a lot of times the altar is in the direct center, but I've seen them off center as well, depending how big the stage is. So for my purposes, it's near the center, but just off center. Uh, so there's enough space for minifix to credibly walk through. I would like to tile this area up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll just tile up this area. So it looks like some kind of, uh, you know, very finished platform, whether it's carpet or maybe tiling. And I think I'll put a jumper plate as well for maybe someone on stage or could be an uh, altar boy so that will go there like that and then of course we need some items on the altar one thing you'd always see in a cathedral are candles the harry potter great hall set came with many handles so i just need two and i'll put some kind of a goblet something like that so that will be my little altar and that basically can go there and now you can see it's things are shaping up even though you nothing is finished except the front that looks pretty good we might as well finish this uh, front over here you might have noticed i actually put modified bricks here and that is so that i can put one by two jumper plates and in this case now i'm actually taking something i created for my old church and that is this classic wood crucifix here and this can attach so that it's centered it was surprisingly difficult to put it in with one hand but now it's in and it's really uh, secure so that's good so here we have the finished I guess the stage area of the cathedral now we can move on to the tiling now if you checked out my previous video you notice I did pretty much fairly ornate and elaborate tiling for the main entrance of the cathedral here. I want to continue that over here. So what I'm going to do is just to remove maybe two of these pews first so that I can get easy access. And I'm going to lay out uh, the tiles. I'll put in some jumper plates for minifix as usual as well. But I'm going to try to use a combination of different colors to create something that is realistic uh, and yet suitable for the cathedral. 
I was laying this out and I realized that everything just should be nicely aligned. Uh, and that's why I switched them around. But I think this looks pretty good. It looks uh, very ornate. It's a bit different from the front. Now, if you can just see this, I went with the dark green. There's a bit of a dark tan, but there's also gray and white. I guess gray and white is the main color scheme that will be uniform. But I thought for the holy water bowl over here, I just wanted something different from the main entrance. And when you come to the main hall, I changed it to gold, uh, just again for that visual difference, but kind of in the same design scheme. So now I have a decision to make. As you can see, I've decided to put one white towel and one gray towel over here. So this would be kind of the space in between the pews. And I'm wondering which is better. But I think once you look at this, you can tell which is probably the better approach. And that would be to have the white join the white. Although, if you look at this one, just due to the nature of the design, and because the pews are three studs wide, it actually makes no difference as you can see. Uh, if I were to do it this way, I would have this here. I won't get that same kind of symmetry that I'm going for. So what should I do? I think it still looks better with the white here and then it tapers out to the grey towards the wall. At least in the centre, I do have one cross or symbolic cross. Imagine if I put another white here, that does look like a nice cross. So I'll tell you what, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take this out and I'm going to make sure I'm going to do white and then grey. While it makes no difference, I'm just going to put a grey, I think, in between. Or maybe, you know what, maybe I can just make it... I'm just being lazy here, but I think no one's going to see. So I'm not going to put any towels below. I don't know, waste towels. So uh, don't tell anyone, okay? So I would do that. I would put this here and then I'll put white and then grey. Let me add one more item, I think over here. Will it be a good idea? So I'm just thinking, we have the stained glass windows here. I could technically hang some decoration here. That will mean I'll have to brick this up with some other bricks, but I think it's fine. What I intend to do is actually to take the clock piece. Uh, this came with the original clock tower set and it's a pity to, not to use it. So I thought it'd just be nice to kind of put here, maybe even here, although this is where the bar is, so probably here. And at least there's a nice clock inside the cathedral as well. I think that works. What I did use what eventually was a modified 1x2 Technic brick. I put in this clip element and I clip this uh, clock shield element here. It can rotate, but a clock is supposed to rotate, right? So I think that's pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is uh, work on uh, this part over here, and that's the back tower uh, which connects from this side over here. Just in case you're wondering, you see there's this passageway. So that passageway actually connects to this back tower. I'm going to move the camera angle so that we can get a much better view. This is the top view of the back tower. I designed this so that this whole thing is modular in nature. You can actually just pop this off. And you can actually see on the inside, just to, for clarity, all this can be also removed. Uh, and that's simply because of the use of all these panels. And I wanted to reuse as many parts as possible for the structure of the build. Of course, I could have used my own bricks to build this even more solid, but the intention of this project was to remock the original sets and use as little extra bricks as possible. In fact, for the entire structural design, not counting the decorative elements, I probably used only 5% extra bricks. Uh, and that was just to make the right connections. Other than that, they all came from the original three sets. You can see that's the original stairs as well. So that leads from the main cathedral through there and you climb up to these steps. So this is kind of an abode or some room uh, where maybe the religious leader chills out and hangs out. So I'm going to put some, there's not much space obviously, so it's not like a full room. Don't expect a bathroom, uh, but I have some ideas planned. I thought of using again, reusing the sets or parts in the set so that these panels with these stickers, obviously this is a very Harry Potter theme, but it looks like old books, kind of like a library, which makes sense for a church. I've got this chair as well. And I've got all kinds of knickknacks. This came from the clock tower set. 
I built a little lamp sort of deal, uh, which is, uh, it was actually shorter, I just added to it because I think that would be a nice floor lamp. So let's just try to put everything together. This is what I've come up with. So there is a bit of tiling design, uh, just to make it a bit more interesting, I feel. And uh, I've created, I'm not sure if you can see, it looks like a bit of drawers over here. So there's a table, uh, which is built with the bookshelf and the studs. So I'm going to put a teapot and a cup or a goblet. I put one stud here and a corner towel so that I can place this floor lamp. Now you might notice there seems to be some untiled studs and that's because of the curvature of this uh, particular piece. So unless maybe if I try to use the curved towel pieces, uh, they will fit in. Maybe I'll try to look for some curved towel pieces later and see if that works. If not, it will just remain unstudded. And finally over here, I'm going to put this I don't know, it's a, just a blue jewel in a bell glass that goes there. So we've got now a very nice little room. So let me put everything back together and we'll have a look how we've done so far. Here's one more quick look at what we've done today uh, before I actually close it up so that you see an exterior view. All this was added in. Here's a front view all the way through that looks pretty grand right and almost quite realistic if you come through the main door and you see the holy water all the way down to the rest of the cathedral and over here we have a look at this side you can see the stained glass windows now what is blocking this something is blocking this now and i have no idea what it's probably one of these bricks here yeah it just wasn't uh, pushed or aligned properly simply because uh, they're stacks of plates but that's how you'd see it from the outside I guess and everything looks pretty good I will have to tell this area over here I'm not sure if I, I should be able to tell something let me just do a test tile here these doors are on hinges but I'm not sure if there's enough clearance space I would think there is <laughs> no there isn't so there's no clearance space for the doors. If you put towels, you can't close the doors. And that's just the way it is, the position of the hinges. But that is fine. There are two things I can do. I can, yep, I could probably do this. Not sure how big a job it will be. I'll probably do it offline, but I can take out this front plate here. So I would have to take out this entire plate and just replate the bottom here. Just can't remember how far in I joined in. I'll do that offline. Not so important now. Just wanted you to have a look at this. Oh, one more thing. I did find the rounded towels for the inside of the back of the towel. And you can see it here. And they do really finish the floor better with those curves. Don't you think so? Here's one more look at the cathedral from the outside. It is so tall. I have to zoom up just so that you can see that crucifix over there that comes down all the way here let's see if we can see those new stained glass windows from this side over here you can but because not much light is uh, coming through you can't really see it i guess from the minifix perspective on the inside you will be able to see the stained glass but that still gives you a good idea of the perspective and the look of the overall build I think we're coming along pretty well and I'm really happy with what we have so far. We've come quite a long way from the original design, but we're definitely getting there. So at this point, I have finished the inside. I won't tell the inside of the base of that clock tower or the, not the clock tower, but that back tower simply because no one can really see it anyway. And I think it's okay to have it a bit rough. For the front over here, I've also done most of it i talked about how i might need to change the plate in front of the door offline so really in the next video which could possibly be the final video in the building a mock from start to finish i'll concentrate on the remaining exterior of the build and that's filling up the base plates and one of the main ideas is to create some kind of a graveyard somewhere here and i think that's going to be fun 
Now, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and please let me know if you've got any comments or suggestions to make this even better. As always, if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Check out these two videos before you go.